So how did I manifest a job using visualization? Let me get into the background of the story. So last year I was in a fixed term contract that was ending on 15th of December 2023. And I had no job lined up for this year. I had applied to many schools, but I got a response from none of them. And I was a bit disappointed, but then I was like, this is how it is going to be. And I thought that I haven't used law of attraction. I haven't been, you know, practicing law of attraction for quite some time now. And I think it's it's a good time to get back into it. So I thought, okay, I want to manifest a job. So let's do it. So what I did was that um, I think it was around 27th or 28th of December. Whenever I used to sleep, even if I used to have a nap in, you know, during daytime, I used to visualize. And when I'm saying I used to visualize, honestly, I did not feel the feeling like 100 percent I did not like I did feel the feeling but I did not push myself to feel too much I did not overwhelm myself um, I just felt whatever I could feel I did not push oh no I have to feel this you know in order for my manifestation to uh, come through I did not do that I just felt whatever I could so my main I had like three things um, that I wanted from my job is that it it is a permanent job. So I don't need to, you know, I don't have to look for another job when the contract finishes. The first point was that second was that I wanted to teach year one. And the third one was that I wanted to start in term one, January 2024. And with December almost, you know, ending and January approaching, I think I was thinking like it's not going to happen. It was not possible because the schools are closed here in New Zealand from December, um, you know, around 15th, 16th, 17th ish December to end of January. The schools are closed. And I was thinking, you know, nobody is going to go to the school and, you know, especially email me or do whatever. And I thought, OK, it's OK. But I thought with law of attraction anything can happen right i don't need to i don't need to think how it's going to happen i just need to believe that it's going to happen so this is what i did i used to visualize about these three things that i've got a permanent position i'm teaching year 1 and the third thing was that i'm starting in term 1 which was really really um difficult because by December starting all the positions the schools usually fill all the positions anyways so I think I started visualizing on 27th or 28th I don't remember so okay let's take 28 28 December 29th 30th 31st 1st January and then on 2nd of January it's a public holiday in New Zealand but on 2nd of January I receive an email I think around 8 o'clock at night from the principal of a school that I applied for, applied at, um, saying that she liked my CV and that she would like to interview, interview me on Friday. I think it was three, three days away from 2nd of January. I don't remember what day that was, but I remember the date. And I was like, I was so excited that my visualization, it's working, you know? So I was so excited and I was like, yeah, 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 I'm available. And I went for the job interview and it really went well because when I was driving to the school, I thought to myself, this is mine. This job is mine because it ticked all the boxes. It, I was supposed to start in term one and then it was a position of year one teacher and it was a permanent position. I did not worry about what school that was you know i was like i'm getting all these three things and this job is mine so i went for the interview and it went pretty well and she said okay that was on a friday and she said okay around wednesday i'll give you a call back i'll talk to your references and I, i'll give you a call back and i'll let you know and i was like that's fine 
so when i left school i was just saying to myself this job is mine this job is mine this is mine this is mine this is what i kept saying to myself and when i got home i you know told my husband that my interview went well and he was like okay let's wait for wednesday i said what for this job is mine like this is really mine and he was like you're so overconfident i said i'm not overconfident i just feel it's mine and he does not believe in law of attraction so he was like oh yeah we'll see it on wednesday i said you know what i'm going to get a call before wednesday and i'm going to prove you that law of attraction works and he was like yeah 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 so friday went saturday and sunday i started talking to him about because the school the interview that i had was the school was is quite far from where i live so i started talking to him about you know we need to relocate we need to move closer to the school you know otherwise it's going to be really difficult for me to drive every morning and drive back it's going to be long and he was like can we wait till wednesday for you to you know have a job confirmation i said i'm telling you this job is mine so i believed it i believed that this you know the job was mine and on monday morning around half past 10 i think i received a call from the principal which i missed and she texted me saying if i can call her back so i called her back and she told me she would like to offer me the job how cool is that i was like i was excited but then i kind of it felt really obvious like it was like yeah that's fine like i wasn't like oh my god i got the job oh my god i got the job it was not like a surprise for me it was i i felt really like yeah that was supposed to happen so i felt like that and the date was supposed to be 28th of jan the starting date so i uh, i said you know 28th of jan is like a sunday so she said yeah the, but the contract starts from sunday so 28th of jan so 29th was a public holiday again so she said 28th is sunday 29th monday is a public holiday then 30th and 31st we have teacher only days so the children will come back to school on 1st of feb so this this is term 1 okay and uh, yeah so this is how i got my job i it's been like two and a half months now and in another one week i'm going to have the first term break so i'm really excited really looking forward to it but yes visualization and i'm going to give you a tip here with visualization don't push yourself to feel the feeling just feel whatever you can because the more you push yourself and if you're not able to feel it actually creates resistance in manifestation so whatever you want to achieve just visualize just imagine that it's happening thinking that it is yours it is definitely yours don't um don't doubt it and don't just keep obsessing about it when how is it going to happen it is going to happen number 1 believe it is yours number 2 don't push yourself in feeling the feel in in feeling the feeling you know like don't push yourself don't overwhelm yourself just feel whatever you can and i promise you if you do this it's definitely going to work definitely definitely on my channel i don't actually put stuff just for the sake of putting it i share stuff which i you know i have used and which worked for me so that's the thing i'm not here um just for the sake of it i'm here because law of attraction helped me in the roughest phase of my life and i want to share it with everybody I hope it helped.